you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Lies on the Road subscribers and followers. I have, I have talked about a lot about how this adventure has, has, has saved my life. Uh, you know, living in a pop-up camper. Who would have thought that something so simple would have would have made that big of a difference? And I wish, I really wish, I could f tell you how it feels to not have my mind cluttered up all the time, just constantly worried. I have showed you videos where you could see the difference from you know six months ago till now you know I've done a before and after I'll put that before and after here I've talked about the 60 70 hours a week that we used to have to work a year ago this month I worked 96 hours on Labor Day week um, constant enormous pressure just constant One of those things that was under enorm enormous pressure was money. And I've talked about money quite a bit. I've talked about being debt free and the freedom, the freedom that, that I felt, the immediate gratification and freedom that I felt being debt free. And you can't even do this. I don't think you could do this adventure like we're doing it unless you are debt free. There's just no way. I, I can't see how, how I would be paying on something right now living on my savings trying to build up a, a YouTube channel or a, 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 a database programming business either one or both without being debt free. Um, you know, my budget is $800 a month. $800 a month. I, I don't know how, you know, I, I've tried to explain before that, you know, living in a house, you know, I was up 15, let's see, let me think about it, almost $2,000 a month just living in a house. And that was, I think, after I became debt free. So here we are, a budget of 800 And for three months, I think it's been three months now, we've been under 700 about 650 you know, that is just, you know, minimal amount of money. So, now, I, I recognize that I'm not including insurance on that. And, but insurance is a regulated thing that you got to have. So, you know, you got to have it. Uh, but money is just an enormous amount of stress. It's almost, in my opinion, an evil. I have talked repeatedly about money can't buy happiness. Um... Spending money, being debt free, I've, I've, I've beaten this to death. But something occurred to me the other day. I had to pay a toll. And so that got me to thinking about all the little expenses that you, you, you have to deal with. That I haven't had to deal with in the last six months. You know, the, the water heater breaks. Or the lawnmower breaks. Or, you know, something breaks. And I recognize you're supposed to have an emergency fund. I know everybody's going to comment. Well, that's why you have an emergency fund. Yep, that's why you have an emergency fund. And that's why I have an emergency fund now. Although I haven't had to use it yet, I have one. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people get wound up into this lifestyle where you, you have to have debt. I talked about this in the debt-free video. And so when something does break, it's just overwhelming stress. And um, you're always worried, can you afford it? Well, of course you can't afford it when you're spending every dime you have on debt. Look, I don't know how many people really break down debt. But when you're spending on a credit card and you're paying $100 on a credit card and uh, 30 of it, goes just to the interest. I, 
when I was younger, I didn't understand that. I mean, I'm not dumb. I, I knew that's what I was doing, but I didn't understand what that $30 could be used for. I just didn't get it. And the day I recognized what that $30 could be used for, I got it. The reason I'm talking about this is I was, as you know, I was under an enormous amount of stress, huge amount of stress. And I really wonder how many people are, are have that kind of stress. And I really want to try to help you reduce the stress. There's this lady I talk to all the time on Facebook. And she said that when she reduced her stress, she was able to get off blood pressure medicine. I can imagine that. I, I really wish I could explain what it... You know, I wonder if I was going crazy. I really wonder sometimes, was I going crazy? Was I going out of my mind with all the stress? And, uh, and today, my mental health is just so much better. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just cannot explain the, the, the euphoric feeling I have being stress-free. Anyway, I think one of the key factors to becoming stress-free is becoming debt-free. And it's definitely a key factor of becoming coming out here to reduce that stress even further. So, you know, go check out, and I'll put it right here. Go check out my debt-free video on how I became debt-free. And uh, anyway, wanted to talk about that. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.